What's up guys, Stan Korsh here and today we have the new Fight of Fates in APK Arena. It will last for 7 days, that's fast. And there is something new in it, let's see. So, so far, based on the mechanics we see here in the tutorial, it's the same as it was the last time, so nothing new. Let's try the same stuff as we did last time, probably it will work. So it was this guy, then... Ah, oh, we don't have the new hero, so the hero set is different now. Alright, alright. So it'll be this guy, then I want Rowan, because Rowan can help us so much, then this guy. I mean, a lady, I'm sorry, Estrilda, of course, and maybe we can get Einstein out. Holy, that would be interesting. And Lucretia, let's put it like that. Um, cards, the weird thing, I can't see the cards, so I think, I think it's a little bit broken on my side. Well, there is some issue with the cards when I open it, the game stacks. I, I feel that they are the same, so the pictures are the same, and I think the effect is the same as the last time. Uh, quests, so let's see, that's the main thing here. Basically, daily quests, or not daily, ah, that's total quests. So, here you get, I think it's dust, XP and stuff, yeah. Uh, five summon scrolls, more XP and stuff, and then five more summon scrolls and ten stargazing cards. So, overall, we have ten stargazing cards, ten scrolls, and some dust and XP for the challenge, for the daily, for overall win. Let's collect those. So, yeah, we get those. And the dailies are different. So, challenge and dailies are different. Here we have XP, gold, dust, one scroll, and one chest with some uh, things. This is good. So, the values here are the same for all of the main things. So, elemental shards, uh, emblem choice chest, twisted essence, and poor coins are all of the same value of 270 diamonds per day, which is not that bad. Uh, what you have to pick from this chest, it's up to you, based on your character progression. So, uh, most of you guys would like the Emblem Choice chest or Poe Coins for the furniture. If not, Twisted Essence will be a good option. Usually, Twisted Essence is leading, so here I would advise getting Emblem Choice chests and Poe Coins, depending on what you want more. Because you will be able to get a better value for getting the Twisted Essence in other events. All right, so what do we have for dailies? Uh, two victories for the day, that's more than before. Before that we had one and three battles, so that's pretty straightforward. For the challenge, a lot of battles, victories, uh, achieve some points, 1.5k point, that's pretty interesting. Two win streak one time, so there is no three win streak anymore, it's better, and complete three spars. Nice. There is also a fortune chest for the top ranking member of your guild. If you are in top 1000 guilds, you will get some diamonds for your guild as always. Record, spar, yeah, pretty straightforward. So, let's go and fight and see how the fight will be. It will be the same or not. Uh, we need 1.5 result. Okay, so we got Brutus against us. That's interesting. Days in strike. Bam. In his face into the fray we need this one to lower the cooldown we got rowan the next one will be lucretia yeah the brutus is going down silence him he's in immunity state i waste that we can heal our guys we can uh toughen someone so that will be ah that's so hard wait 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 I can't properly aim at, at the guy who, who is at the, at the back of the line. That sucks. Lucretia is out, so the enemies will be defeated now. I'm like 99% sure that they won't stand a chance after this. That's, that's a no-brainer. Still body for gradual. Nice. Easy. Easy win, guys, right here. So the mechanics will be kind of the same as before. The problem will be getting to that... Um, 1.5k points, maybe, if you're not that active. But overall, I think the event won't be hard. It's fun. Because I, I like that kind of event. And you can have different teams. So what are really good team setups here? The one I showed you before is actually really, really good. As you saw, we defeated enemies, no problem. Most of the teams open up with gradual. Like, that was beforehand. Uh, who else? We need someone who summoned... Minions, that's actually really, really good. Let's try Ice Team. For the Ice Team, you don't want to open with Ice because 
let's try opening with Ainz, actually. I never tried that. That never wasn't an option. Ainz, then Alberto, then Merlin, then this guy, then this guy. That should be a really interesting team. The problem is I won't be able to get the cards. So, guys, I even redownloaded the test server client. And it still doesn't work. I don't know what's happening with the cards. Let me know if it happens with you as well. I don't know. Uh, for me, I hope on Global it will be okay. But we managed to change the team for Eins. And now we will actually test the Eins team on the test server to see how it will go. I'm really curious how Eins will be able to handle it himself. And Albedo should be out on the battlefield as soon as possible. And basically that's when the enemies might die. But Eins isn't the best 1v1 hero so i don't know let's see at, the, at first he's just buffing with himself so that's not really helping out let's displace can we displace the enemy no we can't displace only our hero bam we displace ourselves and albero is on the battlefield and then that should end everything because that will make eins so much stronger into the fray maybe we'll be able to release let's say da vinci <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so OP, guys. Like, there is no chances that someone can survive this. Maybe look, I don't know. Because, like, yeah, there is Tain and Tain is... Yeah, rip. <laughs> this is fun. I want to test it one more time because uh, that's not supposed to work, to be honest. I, I don't think that Ainz will be a viable team. Or oh, we can actually... After this test, we will check the teams. Ah, that's the... That's the bots, that's why. Master of War means a bot, that's not a real person. So fighting against the bots is easy as hell. You don't you don't have to bother with that because it, that's... Yeah. Albedo. And the next one will be Merlin this time. It does matter because the enemies won't stand a chance. Bam. <laughs> one shot. It. Easy easy guys all right but it's easy because those are the bots let's see what the top heroes use here uh Kaz team Kaz, some some uh, Laika, isabella so that's some assassin team right here i don't know if it will like Kaz might work really well against gradual and win percentage here is really high let's see over here yeah, sorry, after the redownload in the game, wait, they have that lady, why, how, wait, I don't have it, I have a different set of heroes, this is the team that we used back in the day, yeah, those guys are using totally different heroes, so Pippa, no, not Pippa, what's her name, Peggy, Peggy, uh, with this guy and Gradual to get, like, this is the better team, that works better than the one we use, but I can't really get those heroes in my team but this time fight of fates have the new feature this one number three in this event players can only choose from the heroes that they they already own and that are higher than legendary tier excludes the legendary so that's why i can't use uh the heroes that are in the top teams like peggy for example that that i don't own that's the reason so you guys might not have ability to build the top teams, but you all can start with Gradual. And Gradual is a really solid start, so for you guys, Gradual will be a good start, Peggy will be a good start. I tried uh, Ein's team, it works, that's weird. And you can get all those quests done without any problems, with even the basic heroes. So you shouldn't have significant issues in this mode. So yeah guys, let me know what do you think about the new Fight of Fates event. My personal opinion is that limiting the hero options to the heroes that you own is actually pretty bad. Because before that, that event used to be something like an arena where you can use the heroes that are pre-made and that kind of stuff. So everyone could use everything. Now it's limited, it's sad, it's kind of motivating hero heroes, players to get the better heroes. But I don't like it because... Like, even the free-to-play accounts and new players could test and use the teams of other characters. So, I don't know what to think about that. Overall, I like the fact that you don't need three victories in a row for some players. It might be problematic. So, now only two win streak. That's really good. And everything else is kind of doable and easy. 1.5k points, probably not that hard as well. So, most of you guys will be able to get all the rewards and I'm happy about that. 
So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. While you're going there, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and guildies, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new stuff and uh, join the Discord since uh, there are more info over there and you can get more notifications there if you miss them on the YouTube. Other than that, check the pinned comment in the video description for the links. There are links for everything, Discord, social media, more playlists for it, Kirina, and that kind of stuff. And yeah, that's about it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Stand Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.